Here we go. We're doing a hyper caffeinated coffee trivia challenge. What kind of show is this? <laughs> Every time you get a question wrong, you're gonna take a drink of coffee to stay in the game. Uh, am I talking faster than normal? I feel like I'm talking at normal speed. I always talk. Yeah, no! Now I'm feeling this caffeine. Questions get progressively harder as the drinks get more caffeinated. Why am I being dragged here? Thanks to Sensei for sponsoring today's video and happy National Coffee Day. No! To a very special edition of Try the Game Time! Cool! <laughs> hey, Keith, what's wrong? I want to enjoy this iced coffee on National Coffee Day, but I can't. My teeth are too sensitive. I can't have hot coffee drinks either. It all causes me pain. Oh, Keith, that's really tough. Fret not, friend. Sensonite is the number one dentist recommended toothpaste for sensitive teeth. Sensonite Repair and Protect with Deep Repair Toothpaste helps repair and relieve the sensitive areas of your teeth when you use twice a day consistently. Its active ingredient builds a repairing layer over the sensitive areas of your teeth and protects them from tooth sensitivity pain. And then I can drink iced coffee? Yes! And piping hot lattes? Yes! yes. Yippee! Life's too short for sensitive teeth. Use Sensonon and go back to enjoying ice or hot drinks. Now back to the trivia. Yeah! Sensodyne! Today we are gonna be playing three rounds of increasingly difficult coffee trivia. Shout out to my main man, Andrew, the cappuccino man behind the counter. What up, Andrew? If you get a question wrong, you gotta drink some caffeine to stay in the game. Do we have a, a medic on standby? In round one, we'll be drinking espresso. Round two, coffee. Just coffee? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, hell yeah, yum, yum, yum. And round three, double, double concentrate. Cold For that ass. <laughs> now today, there will be a prize. In fact, each of you has a specialized prize depending on who wins. Keith, if you win, we have a bucket of fried chicken with your name on it. I forgot to brush my teeth this morning. I was running late and I didn't have my coffee so my brain wasn't working right, so I can't wait to brush my teeth. Thank you, Sensodyne, for being here. Ned, if you win, we've paid for one night of babysitting so you can have a date night. What? Oh my, these are real prizes. Yeah. I don't know if you know this about me, but caffeine really affects me. Like a lot. Your babysitter is uh, Jonathan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Quasi. Yo. Here you've been taking private flying lessons. Uh -huh. We bought you the special $1,000 headphones that you requested so that you can fly a plane. No way. Yeah. So a $20 I mean, fried yeah. chicken bucket, $100 yeah. worth of babysitting, and the $1,000 headphones. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm allergic to coffee, actually. So I... <laughs> and Eugene, for you, we have a stack of $200 in singles so you can go out to a drag show. <laughs> That's pretty good. Typically I'd have like three cups of cold brew. So, can I get the questions wrong? According to a 2019 survey, what's the number one reason Americans drink coffee? Is it A, to stay awake? B, they like the taste? C, more energy? And D, Beats having a personality. What was with that D one? Was, does that Zach just make that one up to drag coffee drinkers? Now, Zach, you don't drink coffee because it hurts you, right? Yeah, I become, I fart like crazy. I bet we could have a real good flatulence contest. I wouldn't know who'd win. Sorry, continue. Sorry, Sensodyne. Right. <laughs> well, I believe that it's like most people who start drinking coffee in college because they want to, A, stay awake. I don't think it's so much about staying awake. I think it's about waking up and getting energy. I like the taste. And I've chosen D, Zach's stupid answer. <laughs> Give me that coffee. Surprisingly, the answer is B. Wow. 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 Most Americans, 
Most Americans. Most Americans. Most Americans. Americans are liars. Forty-two point nine percent of Americans surveyed said they like the taste. Oh, I, I uh, maybe, maybe they drink frappuccinos for the taste. People drink, drink it up, coffee boys. to stay awake. <laughs> Andrew, I'm gonna need three on tap, my man. Wait, 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 there's 12 questions. There's 12 questions, so yes, in theory, you might have 12. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Servings of increasing uh, strength. Can I, have another, can I have another one? Can I have another one? Coffee beans are only called beans, but what are they actually? A, seeds of berries. B, a nut with a shell. C, the root of a vegetable. Or D, the bitter invention of Satan. Is D always going to be your, like, invective against coffee? I didn't write that one. Oh, okay. Uh, seeds of berries, a nut with a shell, the root of a vegetable. All right, y'all ready? Yes. Go ahead, Keith. All right, the, the rhyme goes, beans, beans, the musical fruit. Therefore, coffee is a seed of a fruit, a berry, perhaps even. Because coffee makes you toot. That makes you toot. I also guessed A, because I remember something about berries. I have A, seeds. It's A, seeds of berries. You are all? Correct. Oh my God. But we call a coffee bean is actually the seeds of a cherry-like fruit. I guess that's why coffee is so very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a nice pun. Boo. <laughs> Which of the following should you not use your coffee grounds for? A, mosquito repellent. B, gardening. C, skin scrub. Or D, dyeing your hair. Is this D gonna, another one of Zach's crazy answers or is it legitimate now no, because of the it's... pattern you set forth? I know, I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the answer is D. Only because if it were to dye your hair, coffee's water soluble, so it would wash out by the next day. I just guess mosquitoes, because I don't know. Uh, A, yeah, because I never heard it before, mosquito repellents. You can use your coffee to for gardening, because I used to compost. Yes, uh, it's very good for gardening. I put yeah. some coffee grounds yeah. in my worm bin yeah. this morning. Yep. So yeah, if the answer is B, I'm gonna say yeah. no. Yeah, I just thought uh, mosquitoes. Hey. Uh -oh. Well, hmm. despite popular myths, a 2016 study found applying spent coffee grounds directly to urban agriculture soil greatly reduces plant growth. The correct answer is gardening. Wow. Wow. Can I get four espressos? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I changed my answer. Incorrect. And this is an easy question? That yeah. felt like a trick yeah. question. Yeah. This is this game is not going. I was hoping I would like top out at maybe four. What color are freshly picked coffee beans? A, brown, B, green, C, black, or D, that shade of orange right before sunset on a clear day on the beach when you look into your lover's eyes and realize, yeah, I think it's gonna work out. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh wow. Mm. Brown, green, black, or D, that shade of orange <laughs> on a clear summer's day on a sunset when you look into your lover's eyes. I'm going with good old fashioned brown. I'm guessing green. That's green. I'm guessing green. Raw coffee looks completely different to roasted coffee. When the beans are picked, they're green. Oh, Thank you. Oh, oh, no. During roasting, the starches are broken down into sugars, which caramelize, giving the beans a brown color. One more espresso, please, Andrew. I still don't feel too awake yet, but I'm hot. The final question of round one, which as a reminder is, the easy round. Easy round, you got it. <laughs> We've made a mistake. After which event did coffee first become popular in the United States? Was it A, the Boston Tea Party? B, World War I? C, the Civil War? Or D, when we ran out of peyote? Hey. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I got an answer. I got an answer. Okay. I went with World War I. Things are getting crazy, and we need a little bit of extra energy to help us think of a good strategy. You know, I thought the tea party was a silly answer, but it's gonna be my answer, because I think it's like a patriotic thing. Tea was very British. I say World War I, everyone in Austria-Hungary, you know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went with 
Hey, Boston Tea Party. Uh, I think historically Americans are really good at rallying behind dumb things to, to say we're better than this other country. The answer is in fact that coffee is the original Freedom Fries, the Boston Tea Party. Prior to the events of the Boston Tea Party, the majority of American colonialists were tea drinkers. However, after the Boston Tea Party, they started drinking coffee. So when you're drinking coffee, just know it's basically Freedom Fries. I'll take another coffee, please. <laughs> That's two. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now we have a three-way tie for first with two answers wrong, and then Keith is taking up the caboose with four cups of espresso. Oh, we're starting to feel it. <laughs> but this is good, because Keith, you were the most sleepy cup. I was the most sleepy. I'm not going to be much sleepy for much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Before round two, it is time for a quick teeth brushing break brought to you by Sensodyne. You gotta keep those pearly whites white. That's right. Whoop, whoop, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go brush our teeth. Let's go. Welcome to round two, where the questions are medium. I got bit by, I got stung by a bee in bed a few weeks ago. The sting hasn't gone away yet. Back of your leg? And I'm wondering, yeah, I'm wondering if I have a sting. Oh, oh, yeah. I think the bee, the bee dies after it stings you. Another trivia. No, I know that's how I knew it was a bee. I found a dead bee in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so how's everyone feeling? I'm hype as Yeah, I'm a little uh, anxious. This should be an easy one for everybody. What is an affogato? <laughs> a, a device with a propeller-like blade to grind coffee. B, vanilla ice cream with a shot of espresso. C, the highest certification given to a barista. Or D, I forgot the answer. <laughs> I think that an avocado, an avocado, an avocado is a B ice cream dream. That's the bee of the coffee and the ice cream. It's uh, C, a small coffee guy. He's ice cream and espresso. Can I get a coffee for Quasi, please? Woo! Oh, 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 oh. I got one right! <laughs> Which country drinks the most coffee? By, by, by per capita or by pure volume? Italia. Mm. Finland. Mm. Brazil. Or Morocco Iado. Morocco. Morocco Iado. By volume or by per capita? Um, per capita. Well, I asked twice about volume versus per capita because it really makes a big difference. Brazil, Brazil is one of the most populous countries in the world. That'd be an auto answer. But once you said per capita, I think I gotta go Italy. They have it like. Oh my God, you're talking field. so fast, man. <laughs> it could be Morocco, though. I think there's big strong. And I mean, I know. It, I think in Morocco they have like big, big old. You know, like in Italy, it's like mm -hmm. little tiny really cool. cups. Yeah. It's like also, why would they include Morocco unless it was the Goodness right answer? gracious, Ned. <laughs> yeah. I, am I talking faster than normal? I feel like I'm talking at a normal speed. I always talk. Oh, okay. When I was in Greece, all the Greeks were saying that Greece drank the sixth most in the world per capita. So uh, that's made me think that maybe Italy was closer to them. So Italy was out for me. I'm going with Morocco. I had put Brazil because they love to party, but now I'm going with Morocco. I'm voting for Italy. Italy. My guess is B, Finland. Because when I was in Sweden, uh, I learned that the Scandinavian countries drink a shit ton of coffee because they drink a blonder roast. Oh, Wait, Keith, Keith, make a joke about me. Have you guys ever seen Ned? <laughs> no, that's what you saw. <laughs> <laughs> seen this? Nice oh, also, Morocco, you can smell coffee with the last two letters. Wait, let me do my other joke. <laughs> I was a setup for <laughs> the real oh, joke. So <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, okay. <clears throat> God, you guys have seen That's what you call a blonde roast. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> good. <laughs> it up. Well, I am so sorry, Eugene. You're the only one not getting a coffee. The answer is no. Finland. I knew Italy was the trap answer. Wait, hey, when we're all done with our coffee, we'll all be finished. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What is the overwhelming type of preferred coffee consumed by millennials? Fair trade latte, gourmet espresso, drip coffee. I'm going with C, coffee. <laughs> coffee. I'm going with drip coffee. I'm going with the espressos. I thought American Millennial, so I changed it to Fair Trade Latte. You're right, too. Can I change my answer? Okay. A staggering 70% of all coffee consumed by millennials is in the form of gourmet espresso based oh, beverages. That's why he allowed it. Gourmet espresso drinks. Oh! Espresso based beverages. I didn't realize it was. I'm coming based. alive! I just thought it was espresso. I thought it was just espresso. Proper. I got one more coffee for more with a fing edge. What country holds the record for the largest iced coffee? Italia. No way. Fing random Not a guessing. Chance. Antarctica. Uh, well, <laughs> Guatemala? Ooh. North Korea. Oh boy. North Korea. <laughs> not not South North Korea? North Korea doesn't want to do anything Western. It would not want to participate in iced coffee largesse. And contest. Guinness wouldn't verify it. <laughs> like we're just openly discussing <laughs> the improbability of these answers. <laughs> um, Antarctica, no. They're too busy doing science. There's no one there. How are you gonna ship it all the way down there? I'm ready. Oh, I think we should all answer as a group. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Let's talk this I'm gonna say through. Guatemala. I'm gonna say Guatemala. All right, then I'll say Guatemala. Guatemala! Too. I'm gonna say Italy. Oh. Guatemala! Yeah. The record for the largest iced coffee was a cup containing 14,228.1 liters of iced Americano coffee. That country was improbably North Korea. Bullshit, bullshit. That's hey, bullshit. Hey, ain't, ain't nothing in North Korea named Americana. <laughs> Ned has broken his board. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Speaking as a Korean person, yeah. that's some bullshit. <laughs> now I'm feeling this cafe. We're just gonna believe North Korea now. You don't think they're inflating the numbers? Listen, listen, guys, guys, I found out. I just, okay, guys, I found out. I found largest iced coffee with 14,228 liters was created in South Korea. I, I told you. Oh, I told you. South no, Korea, you're speaking to a Korean. Somebody. We had a war. South They're not men in nothing. What kind of show is this? Besides humans, what animal is obsessed with coffee? North Korea. <laughs> a, otters. B, koala bears. C, bees. Why, where is where is the koala going to get coffee? Koalas primarily eat eucalyptus. Otters like to go on dates, and a good intro date is coffee, so I'm going with A, otters. Ooh, Ooh I like what you did there. Thank you so much. I guess bees, because you know the number of times I've been drinking coffee and a bee is all up in my business? Bee koalas. Oh shit, I guess, koala, koala. I guess bees, because I felt like they're the only ones who actually like need caffeine to work. The answer is B, Zzz, bees. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, Ooh. I got it wrong? Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you know? Ow. Yeah. Bees love coffee plants and are attracted to the caffeine in the coffee flowers Damn nectar. It. Buzz, because wow. it gives them a buzz. Their flowers <laughs> also contain caffe caffeinated nectar. How about yeah. that? Damn bees. Caffeine makes busy bees as alert as it does humans. Oh my gosh, so I was right. You were right. Because they work so good. much. Busy yeah. Bees. Final question. What is the literal meaning of espresso? A, move rapidly. B, force out. C, impatience. D, to get all jittery and sweaty and do that thing where you keep tapping your right foot like Ned's keeps doing. <laughs> um, mm, that's a good question. Hmm. It's making me think. Let this video be the antidote to anyone who says that coffee makes you think clearer. I think it means C, impatience. I think it's gotta be B, because the way espressos are made are with the pressure going C, move rapidly? Or was that some impatient. Other? impatient. I think it's B, force out. Because uh, my partner speaks Italian. Oh dang, that's rough. Yeah, Me. it is an Italian word, and embarrassingly, the Italian didn't know that. But Eugene did know Italian, well, and the answer is... Have the same answer. No, I know, but you didn't oh. know that it was an Italian oh. word. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew it was an Italian word, but that wasn't my we reasoning. We all knew it was an Italian word. Everyone knows it's an Wait, Italian, Italian word. Italian right or wrong? Word. What the
word. Did I get it right? In Italian, as Eugene correctly stated, the word espresso literally means when something is forced out. The answer is B. Mm. Why am I being dragged here? <laughs> I said the reason why. <laughs> because you didn't know they the Italian made translation oh, and he did. did. No, obviously everyone knows it's a translation. <laughs> but the point is, what is it in Italian if you don't know it's This guy accepted you were f***ing wrong. Bro. No, <laughs> I guess the right answer. <laughs> obviously, the Italians yeah. named it based on the thing that it does. At the end of two rounds, Eugene is in the lead. But anything can happen. Oh. It's time for the hardest questions, round three. This round, you better not get it wrong. This round, if you get it wrong, you'll be drinking double, double concentrate, concentrate coke. For that ass. <laughs> Here we go. What invention was first created because of coffee? Sewing machine. <laughs> 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 Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? The mortar and pestle. The mug. The first webcam. Sewing machine. Oh, shit! <laughs> webcam makes no sense. Okay, guys, listen to this. People been grinding spices long before coffee. People been drinking liquids long before coffee, but people never had a webcam without a good cup of joe, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Not a bad reasoning. I was almost, I almost went with that. I just reflexively said mug at the last second. A uh, B, mug, cause it's a coffee mug, not a tea mug. Boom. I said C, webcam, cause the answer is way too out there to be right, so give me that cold brew. Ooh, yeah. Uh, workers at the University of Cambridge invented the first ever webcam with the sole purpose of checking the status of the coffee pot. What the? Well, that's vague. I did it! That makes no freaking sense. I did it! Keith, unfortunately, since Eugene got that right, you have been mathematically eliminated. So we're gonna now make you watch as people off camera eat your chicken. Oh, why would they do that? No, no, you don't need to eat it. You don't even like chicken. Don't eat the chicken! No, you haven't even finished that piece. Don't move on to the next piece. What do the two most expensive coffees in the world have in common? They're grown in high altitudes, which promotes their unique flavor profile. They use a new irrigation process, which includes organic nutrients. They have used an agricultural hybrid process to maximize scent and taste. Or D, they're extracted from animal fecal matter. I'm going with the coffee poop. I'm going with the poop poop. I'm going with the poop poop. We're going with the poop too. Poo -poo. Give us the poop poop. Can I get a toot toot for poop poop? Woo! I'm a freaking civic cat. There is a coffee that's more than $500 per pound or 50 bucks a cup. The beans are sourced from the poop of an elephant in Thailand. There's another coffee uh, from the feces of civets, regarded as the world's priciest. Okay, why are most coffee names in Italian? Is it A, traders name them to appeal to Italian customers who were early major consumers? B, they invented the espresso machine? C, the first large scale branding for coffee began in Italy? Or D, sounds so sexy? Mm. Mm. You know, this game is kind of like Balderdash. <laughs> Because three of these answers Zach just made up. Do it to it. B -b 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 I'm also going B. I'm going with C, the call back to the World War I question or answer. That was oh. the wrong answer that round. It was wrong, but. <laughs> 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 it means two. It means I got to write an answer. I went with E, imperialism and colonialism. Bomb for that ass, yeah. <laughs> um, the answer is that B, they invented the espresso machine. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately with that, Quasi, you have been eliminated from winning, which means we are going to have to return those headphones. Damn it! Rachel, if you could go ahead and start packing that up, please. <laughs> <laughs> And Quasi, you've been many. waking up at four in the morning every single day to study. Every this. single day. Yeah. yeah. So winning today would have really meant a lot to you. A lot. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. F it. <laughs> Which one of the following is believed to be the origin of the discovery of coffee? Mm. We're going back to the beginning. Was it a pharmacist who began prescribing it for narcolepsy? 
a monk who used it to transcribe holy texts late into the night, a herder who noticed his goats were more energetic after eating them, or D, a chemistry student trying to find a way to stay up and study longer. I'm going with C, Funky Goats. I'm going with C, the herder. I'm going with C, the herder, because it was actually in Ethiopia the f uh, where they discovered coffee. Big up to my Ethiopians. Well, I also said goats, because no. uh, coffee's really old. Yeah, you know, I didn't write these questions, but I would have replaced two of those answers and made it older. <laughs> Funky Goats! Funky. Yeah! yeah. The final question. As a reminder, Ned, you need to get this right. Eugene needs to get it wrong. If you get it wrong, you lose. But if you both get it wrong, I'm saying f it. We're gonna dig out that fried chicken and crazy, you're getting those headphones back. Whoa! Wait, what? Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. Let's go! If we both get it wrong, Let's both go! of them win. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Even if I have the most points. Before coffee, became widely available. What was a popular breakfast drink? A, milk, B, juice, C, beer, or D, daddy's favorite? Ooh, cinnamon raisin juice. <laughs> yeah. In the late 1700s, Benjamin Franklin was credited for having a good workforce when he forced his staff to stop drinking beer for breakfast and make them not start drinking until the afternoon. So I believe it's beer. That's a true fact, is that everyone was drinking beer and no one got any work done. So he's like, you gotta stop drinking beer all the time, guys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why I think it's that. That sounds pretty convincing, yeah. man. No. I, ju I just said milk, because, you know, cows. Mm -hmm. I say beer, beer because Water was dangerous to drink. That's why a lot of people drank tea, because you have to boil it. Everyone's favorite breakfast drink. Beer. Beer. Aww. Get ready to make it rain. Eugene Lee Yang, yeah. the answer is beer. Wait, did I? So I won the coffee yeah. challenge with an answer about alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How yeah. fitting. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> As the winner of today's trivia challenge, I hereby bestow my cash prize to go towards Quasi's airplane. Let's go! Phones. Yeah! I'll make it rain. <laughs> Turning this, you get some headphones, buddy. Oh, shit. Uh, so who's babysitting my kids? And unfortunately, Jonathan is busy. <laughs> Thanks to Sensor Time for sponsoring today's video. <laughs>、uh, the wings. Are not on fire. I repeat, the wings are not on fire. Copy that, Ned.、Uh, Eugene, what's the word on the street? The word on the street is you are about to enter a storm of singles. Hey!